guys welcome back to my channel this is Kel Bell I hope you guys are having a wonderful day I am here today uh, with the promise side-by-side -side look um, using the masquerade palette by Juvia's Place and using the palette I found online on Amazon from a brand called Miscos as you can see from them being side by side, there are some um, colors that look pretty similar. Okay, so today I'm going to try some of using some of the colors which I thought look very similar. Uh, similar in my previous uh, video, I did do um, some swatches, comparison swatches. Um, in the arms, the swatches, um, some of them were really close and some of them were similar but there was some differences to them um, so I'm going to do this um, side by side comparison um, and I will tell you what my opinion is that being said um, you guys make your own opinion based on what you think after seeing what I'm you know doing and I think both palettes um, are good quality I can't say that they're the same quality um, because certainly um, they have uh, their differences but um, like I like I said you form your own opinion um, depending on whether or not you think they perform well okay so first things first I am going to start uh, by choosing my um, crease color so for today's look, I am going to use Burkina as my crease color from the Juvia's Place palette. And I'm going to use the similar shade in the Miss Coast palette right here. And I apologize, the Miss Coast palette does, does not have any names for their um, eyeshadows. Okay, so I'm going to pick up the color. Burkina from the um, Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette and I'm just going to blend it back and forth in the crease okay. I'm going to reapply it just so you guys can really see that color in the crease Okay, back and forth, just back and forth and a little bit more Okay. I'm gonna clean my brush and I'm gonna use the exact same brush in the Miss Coast palette. Um, so as you guys can see, the brush has no color anymore. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up the color from the Miss Coast palette that I think looks the closest uh, to the one in the Masquerade palette and I'm gonna apply it in my left eye in the crease just like I did with the um, Juvia's Place palette. And as I apply it, the colors do look similar. Um, however, I can tell that the one from the Miss Coast palette is hinting more warm than the one uh, from Juvia's Place. I don't know if you guys can see, but this one has a cooler uh, base tone where this one is hinting a little bit warmer. Um, hopefully you guys can see that in the camera. I'm not sure that you can, but um, again, really similar, but the undertone, yes, of the Juvia's Place is definitely, definitely cooler and of the Miss Coast palette is on the warmer side. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a different color now. I am going to choose, uh, let's see here, for my lid color, at least for the inner corner of my lid, I'm going to use this light color in the Juvia's Place palette called Giza. 
and I am going to use the lightest shade which looks pretty pretty similar from the Miss Coast palette okay and I'm gonna apply both with my finger just because I run, want them to pop and I'm just placing it in the inner corner of my eye okay so that's uh, Giza from the Uvia's Place palette. So I'm just tapping in and applying it in the inner half of my eye or inner corner of my eye. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing from the Miss Coast palette and apply it to my left eye. Those are pretty similar. I don't know if you guys can tell. I would say those are pretty similar. I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm going to try to smooth that color out on both sides. I'll do the same thing on the left eye. And I do keep um, cleaning my brush. Okay. I'm going to try to see if I can pick up some of that color with my flat brush. Because it kind of just brushed away in both cases, in the Juvia's and in the Miss Coast palette. Okay, so hopefully reapplying it will bring back some of that color. Okay, cleaning it up in my swisher. The brush has no color. Picking it up from the Miss Coast palette and doing the same thing I did with the Juvia's Place. And the color payoff in the Juvia's in this particular color is a little bit better. Um, I don't think it's as bright from the Miscus palette. Okay. Moving on, I am going to take another flat brush. this flat brush and I am going to pick up the green color from the Juvia's Place palette called Mally. Okay. Tapping off the excess and I'm going to apply it in the outer corner of the eye. And this brush is actually coming loose, so I'm gonna have to switch brushes really quick. And it'll be the same type of brush, just a different one. But same brush, just a different brush than the one I was using. <laughs> okay, so. There we go, that's much better. Okay, so again, it's the color Mally from the Juvia's Place. Really like that color, so I'm gonna bring it in and apply it on top of the lighter color Giza, which I had already placed on my lid. I'm just applying it till I'm satisfied with the intensity of the color. And I'm just going to do a little bit more. Okay. I'm going to clean my brush really well. Okay. Again, using my little swisher. Okay. There's no color left in it. So I'm going to pick up the green from the Miscos palette, which is right here. And I'm going to do the exact same thing on my left eye. So the intensity in the application of it is not as great with the Miscos palette. Um, I definitely had to work my 
brush really in there to get the color. The color does look pretty similar, however, as you guys can tell, I'm having to go back into the color and really intensify it to match the one from the Juvia's Place. So the color payoff in the Miss Coast palette is not as intense as the Juvia's Place. I don't know if you guys can tell that, but I definitely can tell. I think that is pretty close. Maybe one more little layer. Okay. Next, I am going to pick up the purple color from the Juvia's Place, which is called Maqueda. Okay. And I'm going to use the similar pur purple from the Miss Coast palette on the opposite eye. Okay. I'm going to use that color in the outer corner. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so again, Maqueda from the Juvia's Place palette in the outer corner of my eye. Layering it on and blending. And I'm going to bring it up into the crease as well. Just layering on top just to really intensify that color. I'm gonna clean my brush. Okay, no color left on that brush. I'm gonna pick up the purple from the um, Miss Coast palette. Sorry, I thought my camera had died, so that's why I kept staring into the camera. Um, so the colors are pretty close. in this too. Um, definitely feel different in application though. I will say that. Um, I feel like in the Miss Coast palette when I'm applying it, the color seems to blend away a little bit more rather than staying put as the uh, Juvia's Place. Uh, so, let's see. Try a little bit more. Okay, I think that's as close as they're both gonna get. Okay, next I'm gonna pick up the light, this blue right here from both palettes. Um, the one in um, the masquerade palette is called. Um, Dahlia, so this blue right there. Okay. 
and I'm going to apply that in the inner crease okay so the purple was in my outer crease this one I'm applying in the inner half of my crease I know this once again is a funky eyeshadow look but I really wanted to use as many colors from the palette that seem similar to me so that you guys get a good idea of what they look like in application okay cleaning up that brush okay so there's no color left picking up the color from the Miss Coast palette I will do the exact same thing and apply it in the inner half of my crease Okay. Next, I'm going to pick up this kind of a reddish purple color in both palettes in the Juvia's Places called Zobo, and I will uh, apply it in my bottom lid with a small brush. Okay, small angle brush. So I'm gonna pick up Zobo again from the Juvia's Place and I'm gonna apply it in my bottom lash line. really layering it on so you guys can see it okay. cleaning up the brush okay. I'm gonna pick up the similar color from the Miss Coast palette okay And those are really similar. For my inner corner highlight, I'm going to go back to those initial lighter colors that I use. I'm going to use Giza again from the Juvia's Place palette and apply it to the corner of my eye. Okay. And I'm going to use the other side of my sponge dry brush and pick up the lighter color from the Miss Coast palette and do the exact same thing. Okay. I'm going to go back into the kind of burgundy purple color that we just used in the bottom lash and I'm actually going to blend it in to make everything cohesive okay so with a fluffy brush I'm gonna layer it on top of the purple and the blue and just kind of blend it 
just to make the colors be cohesive with each other. Just blending it in. Okay. Cleaning out that brush, I will then pick up the similar color from the Miskos palette. Okay. So the brush no longer has any color. Picking up that with my fluffy brush and bringing in to be cohesive with the colors. Last but not least, I am going to use the kind of orangey looking colors in the palette, which is Zulu. Um, and this kind of orangey shade in the corner of the Miskos palette. I am going to pick them up with a small flat brush. Okay. And I'm just going to warm up a little bit in the bottom lash line just gonna try to warm that area up a little bit with that color hopefully you guys can really see that okay. cleaning the brush so there's no color I'm gonna pick up kind of that orangey color from the Miskos palette and do the same thing gonna take a wipe and smooth out the edges of my makeup look just to create a nice clean eye look okay smoothing out the edges okay and actually to finish up the look I'm gonna put um, the same lighter color I used before this one from the Miskos palette in my brow bone cleaning it off I'm gonna use the color Giza which is the one that I think is duping in the um, masquerade palette and I think it's clear that this color is actually a lot brighter than that one <laughs> so let me pick up some more from the Miskos palette to try and match that intensity so cleaning off my brush I will try to match the same intensity okay i think that's good all right i'm just gonna apply some mascara 
and curl my lashes and apply mascara and then that will be the final look so in conclusion you can really create some very similar looks um, but I do have to say that you will have to work a little bit harder with the Miss Close palette uh, as far in, as applying the actual colors. I did feel like sometimes in layering the brush will pick up some of the color and just move it instead of actually place it. Um, but overall I think that you can get a very similar look. Now the thing to remember is not every color from the UVS place is actually being duped. Um, and I don't necessarily know that that was the case to begin with. If it was the Miss Coast brand intention to um, copy the um, Masquerade palette. There are very some very distinct colors as you can see in both palettes. Um, but all in all, I would say that... If you feel like the uh, UVS Place palette is something that is not too affordable, I think they are because they're, I think they, this one ranges between $21 to $25. Um, but if that's still too high for you, um, the more affordable um, palette that you can get similar looks will be the Miss Coast palette, which again I found in Amazon, and this one retails for fifteen ninety nine. Um, the quality is again a little bit different. You do have to work harder with this one, but if price is something that is very important to you and you want something that is more affordable, definitely the Miss Coast will be the more affordable. However, the UVS Place is not that much more expensive. Um, it just depends on what your budget is okay all right guys that is it for this video I hope you found it helpful and until the next time please enjoy whatever you may have going in your life thank you guys for watching see you next time